How do you do, everybody? Welcome to Basketball Action, the new Trier Trevians, and the Evanston Wildcats, the second of the home-home series from Evanston in the pit. Always a tough place to play. Should be a great game today. Uh, they sort of felt each other out last night at New Trier, Evanston winning it by seven. But this is a different, a different game, and we're at Evanston. Always a tough place to play. And we got to keep the sound down a little bit because we got we're literally sitting in the band where the, uh, the pep band for Evanston is this year with the pandemic. They're spread out all over this north side of the gym, up top, and Canellas. Had a little trouble with it, out of bounds. Last touch by Evanston, new Trier basketball. I would expect Evanston to try and stop every single new Trier shot. They're notorious for that, and the foul. Uh, or this year they are, anyway. Finn Cohen got fouled. New Trier will inbound underneath their basket. It's been a while since New Trier has been able to win a game against Evanston, but Evanston and New Trier have played some remarkable games and have been very close, even if teams have been widely disparate in their talent. To the side, into the corner, going for the three. Yep, Swishery for three to start things off. Evanston with the three spot. Kirkpatrick with the basketball up top. Cohen and through the hands, but last touch by Evanston on the pass and 10 for Geis. Kirkpatrick will inbound it. Back to Kirkpatrick. Cross court to the side. And on the back door, shot no. Put back is good. But I don't think the shot counted. Yeah, there was a foul in there. Canellos. Shoots a pair. Gets the first. And it's 3-1 Evanston early in the going. And missed the second. Put it up short. Well, Kitsch with the basketball. Up top. On the rotation. And foul. On the drive on the baseline. Count with the foul. I think that's who it was. Like I said, I got to keep the sound down. Out top. And the attempt at the three doesn't work. Monroe put it to the corner. Guys gave it to Canelos. And Canellas pulls it out. Up and the foul. And Peter Canellos will go to the line. Good 
gets the first. Missed the second, but Monroe. And they're going to call a jump ball. So that'll be Evanston basketball. Ball catch into the forecourt. Boy, this place really rocks. And it certainly has a different sound when you're when there aren't any fans around. Different feel to this place. The Aaron pass and taken back by the Wildcats. Trying to force his way now back up top. Boy, Nutra Evanson games when the full house. Oh, a block by Monroe, and he actually did it from behind. Block shot. What also makes it nice on that, uh, on that end of it is that without the crowd here, players aren't playing to the crowd. We get a lot of that with, with this rivalry. And I think we're at the, yeah, we're at the half of the half time, the uh, mask timeout. And... Cohen gets the first. Got the second as well. On the side. Winding down the basketball season, such as it has been this year with the pandemic. Going for the outside three. Nope. And Monroe tracks it down. Gives it off to Canellos. Well, gave it to Kirkpatrick who gave it to Canellos, but Canellos got it anyway. Brought it across the timeline. And trying to go inside. And the reverse layup by Cohn. After tonight, Nutrier has a makeup game against Glenbrook South. And a three spot for the Wildcats. Deerfield and the final Central Suburban South Series. Oh, we missed somebody get coming in, so we had to redo the inbound pass. And Niles West, uh, the Central Suburban South, the last of the Central Suburban South games. And that same day that we finish up basketball, football starts. And the first game will be the 19th of March. My first work on football. And that's next weekend in real time. Up top. And before football's over, baseball will start. Up and no, but the foul. And the first one good. And Picard checks in for the Trevians. 
Andrew Picard. And the second one's good. The inbound, Canellos. Canellos. Trying to go inside for Monroe. Monroe dished it over here to the far side, or near side, rather. And Kirkpatrick. The spinorama didn't work. Loose on the floor, man chase. And timeout taken by Evanston to retain possession. Evanston leads by two. 2.16 two left to play in the quarter. Back over here to the near side. And errant pass, a zigzag play. Up and no by Kolak. Back up top and I'm not sure exactly why he stepped on the line before he passed it or something. Not sure why Neutral lost possession on that. Well, Kitsch with it. To the corner for the three. In and out. Trying again, no. And the Trevians have it. Dished to the near side. Chang just into the game. Kolak. Bray Boy. The Chang. Up top. Picar. Back to Picar. Up high. And Bray Boy. Chang. And going for the three is Picard. No. And the foul on the push. Jake Feagan with the foul. Near side. And cross the timeline. And go for the long downtown tree. No. Go to the paint and then dished it back outside. And tried to do it again. And this time the Trevian smelled it out. That was that three ball shot that Evanston pulls. And... At the end of the first quarter, it's 8-6. Favor of Evanston. Trevian's inbound to start the second quarter. And floated no. Put back is good. Ben Cohen with the putback. Up top to the side, going for the three. No. Trevians have it. Canellos. And deflected out of bounds. Evanston collapsing in on the paint a lot here. Evanston 
And uh, actually a smaller crowd than was at the New Trier end of this rivalry. And yeah, stepped on the line. And the turnover. Now the Wildcats cross the timeline. To the side. And foul on Canellos. And Fagan checks back in. Second quarter. Low scoring game. Up top for the three. Nutrier with the basketball. Kirkpatrick found the lane, put it up, put it up short. And then the foul. And Kirkpatrick with the foul. I, that might have been a frustration foul on his part. All right. Couldn't touch it again. It would have been double dribble. Up and no. And the foul on the rebound. Vying for positioning on the rebound and the foul. And the Trevians will inbound it. Guys, just back into the game. Guys. Up top. Cone. Put it back out high. Try to go inside for Monroe. Monroe. Couldn't get the shot, but he got fouled, I believe. And Jackson Moreau will go to the line. And Monroe will shoot a pair here. Jackson gets the first. He was the leading scorer in the game last Time around, it's 11-10 in favor of Evanston here. Last night's game. On the side. Pull back out to the side, going for the three, no short. Monroe with the rebound. Gave it to Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick. Josh Kirkpatrick gave it inside. Cross to... No. Offensive foul on the push-off, I guess, at the bump there. And the basket doesn't count. And a timeout taken. Oh, we're at the uh, mask timeout. 11-10 the score. And we're in the second quarter. As we said, this is going to be a defensive battle. You can see this one. You could see this one coming from the way the game was played last night. And a three.
four point Evanston lead. Whoa. Cross and going for the three. Nope. The put back. Yes. I think that was Fegan with it, or was it Geis? Somebody, oh, it was uh, going with it, with the uh, last basket. Two-point Wildcat lead. And going for the three again, yep. Five point, well, kid lead. Kirkpatrick. And a zigzag play. Fortunately, there was somebody there for him. Up top, Fagan. And traveling, I believe. Or he palmed the ball, one of the two. Chang checks in. So does Brayboy for the Trevians. The inbound. Put it to the near side, back up top. And the shot up over everything. Air ball. Nicholas Chang gave it off to Fegan. Up top, Bray Boy. Chang, Fegan. Picar to Bray Boy. Looking to go down the lane. No. And he stepped on the line, got a little... Too deep. And Toth checks in for the Trevians. Jacob Toth. The inbound. Cross the timeline. And the setup. Drive the baseline, kick back out high, and that's going to be a forward and back. No, they said Nutra touched it. I guess it must have been deflected. Underneath there. And out of bounds on the pass block by Andrew Picard. Far side to the corner. Brought back out. Did it again. To the corner. Up top. And going for the three. No. Up in the air. The man chase on. Out of bounds. Last touch by Nutrier. And the Wildcats have it. And up top. And trying to go inside. I think Kolak got him. 
And a one and one. Just under a minute left to go here in the first half. Nope, on the front end. So it's new trade basketball on the rebound. Chang. And timeout taken by the Trevians. Trevians down by five here. Canellos. To guys. And off the play, there's a foul. A holding over here on the near side. The big men. And Finn Cohen gets a one and one. Chang, Picar, Vegan, and Bray Boy all check back in. They came, the other line came in on the uh, timeout and missed the front end on that side. Well, neither team shooting very well, but neither team getting very good looks here. Which means that the defense on both these teams is working very well. Up top. Very little behind the defense stuff that we had last night. Toth checks in for Cohn. The inbound and going for the three at the buzzer. No. And it's a five point Evanson lead at halftime 17 to 12. And five-point lead for the Wildcats. They've got the basketball to start the second half. And the corner going for the three. No, Trevians with the rebound. Canelos. And up and in by uh, Jackson Monroe. Into the paint. That, I don't know why that wasn't traveling, but it wasn't. At least it wasn't called. It ain't nothing if the ref don't call it. Canelos. And he bounced it off his foot, coming back the other way. Up and short, try again, no. And Trevians have it. Canelos. Guys. Canelos. And a foul underneath, away from the play. Away from the ball, rather. In the play, away from the ball. And Kirkpatrick will inbound it. Up top, and Canellos gets fouled. And two fouls on the same possession here. Kirkpatrick inbounds it to Canellos. We're at E-Town. 
Evanston's called the Wildcats because they're wild, originally wild kittens. Because Northwestern University here in town is the Wildcats. And as a peace offering to the Illinois alums, and up and in for the deuce here, as a peace offering to the Illinois alums who were upset about the Wildcats, the school colors are blue and orange. Up and no. But the foul. And Josh Kirkpatrick goes to the line for two. And gets the first. And Picar and Figan check in for the Trevians. Got the second. Up high. Rotating it around, go for the three, no. Up top. And go for the three. No. Trevians with the rebound. Boy, Evanston's been cold from the outside. They, they were pretty hot last night. And a three ball by Kirkpatrick. Swishery for three. And into the paint and drive the lane for the deuce. Kirkpatrick with the basketball. Cross court. Oh, my. In a game like this, doing that. And up and in by Cohn. And he palmed the ball. And I think we're at the half of the half time. Yeah. Tied at 21, half of the half. Here in the third quarter. And Kirkpatrick, I, I was trying to figure out why Evanston was going all the way across the, the floor on the timeout, so then I realized why. I'm sitting here inside the uh, pet band here at Evanston, and they're trying to get away from that. All the band members here sitting with me, as it were. They're spread out six feet apart, but they do make a lot of noise. In the corner, going for the three. No. Trevian's got the rebound. Try again for the deuce. Yes. Kirkpatrick with the deuce. To the corner, back up top. And because of the pit, and there isn't a lot of room between the floor and the wall, people are spread out on their six feet spread all the way around the uh, to the other side of the gym. Kirkpatrick. Kolak. Monroe gave it to Kirkpatrick. 
They were trying to entice the Trevians by showing an open lane, but Trevians are used to that now. They know what they're looking for. To the corner. Tried to go inside for Monroe, and Monroe lost his footing, but he also missed the pass. Or the Wildcats stole it, however you want to call that. Over to the far side. And the deuce. Kirkpatrick. Inside intended for Monroe and well covered. And uh, stuff there. Who was that? Uh, that's Fegan with the block. And a foul on uh, Aiden Brayboy. That's who they called. I don't see him out there. Going for the three. Yes, switchery for three. Big time. Fegan. And Trevian's lead by three. Timeout was taken by Evanston. Wildcats inbound. Trotted ahead. Far side. And stolen. And Wildcats got a paw in there. Prevent the shot, as we said. Expecting a lot of that. Evanston trying to stop any shots or at least get in the face of the Trevians. The three-shot, no. Brought back out high. Loose on the floor, and they fall. That's how it got loose. And Wildcats ball. Winding down the third quarter. Back outside, going for the three, no. Canelos. Up top. Bray Boy. And off the ball a foul. On Fegan. And Wild kicks basketball. On the side. Put back out high. Up and short, no. Cadalos. Bray Boy. Fagan. Now, Kolak, give it over here in the near side. Drevian's being a patient here. Go to the, tried to go to the paint, and they're calling that an offensive foul. And Chang will check in.
Back to the far side. Back over here to the near. Back to the far. Drive for the steal, didn't work. Into the paint. And up and over everything, trying to strong on it in. Driving to bring it back, going for the three, and we're done with the third quarter. And Trevian's leading at 26 to 23 at the end of the third quarter. We start the fourth. Guys gave it to Canelos. Peter Canelos across the timeline. Canelos tried to go in, did it end? No, and then out of bounds. And Nutrier will. Retain possession underneath. Yeah, couldn't find an opening. They'll take a timeout rather than lose the ball. And up, no. The, sec the first time, but Monroe got the rebound and put it home. And the Trevians have a five-point lead here. Going for the three, yes. Kirkpatrick with the basketball. Up top, Cone gave it off into the paint, kick back out high, and the foul getting rambunctious on uh, Monroe, I think. And Fegan checks back in for Cone. We'll see him during the spring. He's on the football team, too. Up top. And pulled back out. Canelos. Monroe. Geis. And Geis lost the handle. Up and in for the deuce. And I believe we're tied up. We are tied up at 28 in the fourth quarter. Canelos. Monroe. Kirkpatrick. Bouncing around in the traffic. Fagan. Canelos. Canelos up. No. And foul, and it's frustration foul, I think, on Canellos. And Picar checks in for new trick. The inbound. To the side, back up top. And up and no. The long outlet pass up and in by Monroe. Monroe had that 60-foot three-pointer at the end of the third quarter last night. Now, with the long one, now the trying to drive the lane, ran into Monroe up the top, no, on the run-and-gun attempt by Canellos. Canellos. 
to the paint and rolls it in. And we're tied back up now at 30. Canellos put it to the corner. Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick drive the baseline. Put it to the deep corner for the three attempt by Fegan, and that didn't work. Up high. Glad to have you wherever you may be on a network line, on cable and the Internet, on YouTube. All the games we broadcast this year will be available on YouTube here on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Into the paint. Up and yes. Scoop did. Driving the lane. That's what Evanston apparently wants to do is drive the lane. Evanston leads by two. With 3.20 left to play in the fourth quarter. Canellos. I don't know if they're doing overtime. That's a good question with the pandemic whether they would do overtime. Monroe. And knocked away as the Trevians tried to drive the lane. What's also an interesting thing is I wonder how they're going to do who wins the Central Suburban South and plays in that tournament or whatever you want to call that. Up and no. And up and in, no. It's a foul on the floor first before the shot. It's the winner of the Central Suburban South. If Nutra wins this one and then wins against Columbrook South in the next game, then there's a potential of a three-way tie between uh, New Trier, Evanston, and Glenbrook South. And the foul. And Jackson Monroe will go to the line. Monroe with the one end. And he missed the front end of it. Evanson with the basketball. Up top, over to the far side. Trevi trying to put pressure on the ball out high. And the corner for the three. Nope. And fell into the hands of the Trevians. Dutre bringing it back. Going for the three. Yes! Swishery for three. And Fegan with the big time three. Sophomore with a clutch one. And foul, apparently. Jackson Monroe with the foul. The inbound. To the near side. And bumped heavily 
was Kirkpatrick. And again, yeah, rough is right there, so. No player control. I think that was what Kirkpatrick was trying to get. Going for the back door, up and in for the deuce. Canellos getting down to crunch time in this one. Deflected away. Oh, I take that back. Nutrier took a timeout first. Trevians with the timeout first. 34-33. And basically a minute left to play here in the fourth quarter. Kirkpatrick. And Trevians couldn't find an opening timeout. I'll take another one. And they're out of timeouts. Nutrier. Fagan gave it to Canellos. Uh, to Kirkpatrick, rather. No, I take that back. That was Picar. On the side. Spinorama. And the deuce. Josh Kirkpatrick with the deuce. Up top. Trevians with the lead by a point. And timeout taken by Evanston. Looking for an opening. Trevians lead 35-34. Just a few seconds left in this game. And now they'll do a, another timeout, a full timeout. 12.7 left. Over to the far side. Looking for the last shot out of the Wildcats. To the side. Knocked away, kicked back out high, going for the three. No, and Nutrier wins it. 35-34. And the Trillians victorious here. A tough job to do. Trevians are victorious here at Evanston in the pit. 35-34. Hope you enjoyed this broadcast wherever you may be on the network line. Join us for our next sports action. Dutrier and Glenbrook South in basketball and for all of us here at this network. We say, as always, wherever you may be on the network, thanks for watching, and so long, everybody. This has been a Metro Chicago Sports Network copyrighted presentation. All rights reserved.